get up. KKK kid? How'd you get spray paint on your face? What do you know about this kid in the parking lot? <laughs> Bellhouse had his head so far up there, he'll never see daylight. <laughs> it's great, can we go? What time is it, man? We may miss dinner. That's it. Hey, hey, not KKK. Please. No, not KKK, man. Anarchy! <laughs> the anarchy police! You get it, man? The only one who can catch us, man. The anarchy police. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Now <laughs> get great. in. That's great. I love it. That's great. The KKK put another kid in the hospital today. That makes three gang-related injuries in the last 30 days. Is this guy a friendly neighbor? Yeah. They seem to be the latest target. Downtown question the kids involved and then cut them loose. Well, that's good. Let them get back to their full-time job as vandals. Look, there's been $200,000 in damage in this district in the last six weeks. Now, Captain Ballhouse is all over us to do something about these gangs, or he will. Ballhouse, as in bad news, Ballhouse? Man loves his riot gear. Studs and leather, here I come. KKK, awesome band. Band? KKK, clean-cut kids. It's a band, it's a gang, it's a floor wax. You gotta keep up with their popular culture, Hanson. Sorry, Penhall. They're not gonna buy two of you. One of you goes in hardcore, the other's just a student. Hanson? What, are you breaking the laws of nature here? I'm a natural. Look, these are bright, middle-class kids. It's not just studs and leather. Yeah, I'm ready, coach. Ready? Hanson, we're talking to Slug Lord here. Ever been slam dancing? No. We ever leapt off a stage in the arms of strangers with mohawks? Ever done any speaker diving? Not that I can remember, but I'm sure I can handle it. Why? What's the big deal? They gotta believe you from the get-go. You gotta be full-blown from the start. Fuller, I should be the lead man on this. I'm a natural.
place open or what? I've seen you guys around and stuff, you know? I've seen you. Well, you know, I just came in from Oklahoma a couple weeks ago, so I, uh, I haven't found my way to school yet. You know? <laughs> that guy's gonna enforce the curfew, huh? Let's not loiter here, guys. There's gotta be people waiting for even you at home. It's late. Yeah, sure, man. Once it's after 9 o'clock, all I get is a tough little bumper sticker and a couple quarters taped to my door. There's an ordinance. Let's go and get rid of that beer. Now. But I can't leave you girls alone for a sec. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, yeah? Hey, some other time. Yeah, sure. Like maybe tomorrow, if you can find your way to school. Not tonight. Come on, you guys. What are we gonna do now, man? Five bucks. Five, Five bucks. bucks. All right, man, you be up. I ain't got no cash. Yeah. Here you go, Lance. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Alice? <laughs> five snot noses trying to get five bucks together. You're a funny guy. This thing was completely bizarre. I mean, it's like this weird, deviant, aboriginal offshoot, you know? Let me guess. You stood in the corner and took notes all night. No, man, I got out there and got into it. You slammed and I missed it? Yeah. <laughs> you get out there and you bash into a bunch of other guys, you sweat a lot. I mean, it's just another subculture, breaking rules, pecking orders, that type of thing. You can make a freaking documentary. See, all the kids who are outsiders everywhere else, they come there to be together. Instant acceptance. I'm not listening to the sociology report from a guy in Scottish plaid bondage pants. Let's teach this fool a lesson. See? There's always something to do. Yeah! Goodbye, Alan! Woo! Excuse us, please. This is Darby here. Why don't you open the door for him? Haskell. You're in BC Calc at your old school, right? Yeah. So this should be pretty straightforward then. You can start handing in assignments tomorrow. Brian, you got a minute?
Nice work. Oh, thanks. So, uh, how are things going? Fine, as long as you keep giving me marks like that. No. I mean, like after school. How's your life? My life's fine, Mr. Weedlin. How's your life? Seems to me that I've seen you with some uh, pretty unsavory types lately. Same people as always. Yeah, well, maybe they changed. Maybe. He dropped out of the student council. He had a shot at president. He didn't turn out for soccer or the paper. Yeah, well, maybe they just weren't that important. You sure everything's OK? Hey, these are the best years of my life. You're up, Sid. What do you want, Scott Amunga? <laughs> well, when I eat standing up, I tend to have a problem with my milk. Why are you here? Didn't we just cover that? No, why are you at Hamilton in the middle of semester? I came from Oklahoma. Don't you think that's enough of a reason? No. <laughs> yeah, well, I was living with my uh, mother. Things weren't going too well, so she shipped me off to my stepdad. Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah, everyone's got some story. My B.O.Y., Tober here, he's got it serious. He's been squatting for over a month. Hasn't been home at all. Yeah, most nights I sleep in a Goodwill box, man. And what was with that band from last night? What do you like? You guys are like named after them or something? You really want to know? Let you hear from the man himself after school down the street. Great. Don't you see it, man? I mean, it's like if you don't get their idea perfect, they feel like they got to fix you, make you better. They send you to the orthodontist, the dermatologist. I mean, they get you speech lessons, ballet lessons, piano lessons, the whole shot. I don't know, man. It's like it's hard to figure out who discusses them more. I mean, face it, these are people who are capable of liking themselves, man. It's a big wonder that they hate you, huh? My mother's incapable of loving my father, yeah, but I don't know about the rest of that stuff. Well, maybe I should speak a little slower, Bry, so you can keep up, huh? Ow, 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 ow. He's ugly, and you know what? He's stupid! He's concerned with a number of issues clearly outside his sphere of influence, namely us. I thought this for a response. I see. I'll say you take him out back and stomp him. Oh, come on, guys. That's what I had in mind. Hey, man. Dougie, Dougie, let me handle this. You'll handle this? Who the heck are you? That's Tom. Haskell, I think. He's new. Great. Another stupid new kid. Fine. I can see I'm gonna have to put this into terms you can understand. That's my stepbrother, Douglas. It's kind of lame, but it's not his fault. You kick his tail, he tells my stepdad. My stepdad kicks my tail. Then I'm gonna have to come back here and kick your tail. So why don't we leave him out of let me kick your tail right now? Well, tough talk, Junior. Yeah, you see, uh... Prince Custom. Giving gifts to newcomers like that, I appreciate it. Check this guy out, huh? You really thought I was gonna stick you, huh, man? I like that. You're all right. I did tell you what, Tom. We won't trash your stepbrother here. But why don't you do us all a big favor and teach him how to dress, huh? You all right, man? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, we've been waiting here for three hours. When are the neighbors gonna show? Come on, man, I thought you lived for this stuff, you know, crawling around the underbelly. This ain't junk food, this is junk junk food. You know, we used to call this place the attack dog because 20 minutes later... Ah, the neighbors. Hey, neighbors. Come on. The 
What are you doing here? You guys are dead. All of you freaking dead. We're gonna kill you. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to get out of the car. Come on, man. Is there a particular reason for this hostility? We put a neighbor in the hospital. We got room deserved for the rest of you in the same home. Neighbor? Not my neighbor. Yeah, the one you yanked out of hey, the truck. Hey, you guys think you're so tough. You think you scare everybody. Shut up! You shouldn't have been there. What is this? You own the beach? You just didn't have to do it like this. We're gonna stomp you, you just break your bones, like make you bleed! I said shut up! I'm totally terrified, man. Come on, get out of the car! <laughs> yeah! Did you see their faces, man? Did you see their faces? <laughs> yeah, they were great! <laughs> yeah, that was really useful. <laughs> Is there any point in trashing that kid at the beach? I heard about that. I don't think we really meant to trash him. I mean, any more than the others. Lance, I thought it was cool. Hey, we told him about it. We did mean to trash him. Hey, man, they should have known not to have been there. I mean, uh, Lance thought it was great. I used to think it was kind of cool, but, uh, I mean, it's getting pretty old. I mean, enough people in the hospital, huh? See, nobody really comes up against us much anymore. They're afraid now. They stay away. I guess that's good. Yo, Tom, we were supposed to be home hours ago. Dad's gonna kick our tail up and down. Come on, let's go. Night-night already, huh? You know, you should really change your name, Doug. You wouldn't be so much of a dweeb, all right? <laughs> See, it's like Spooky's mom didn't name him that. My rents didn't name me Tober. He's like your hair, man and the clothes you wear. You can be what you want to be. Names that other people give you, they just aren't important. Why would you want to be called Tober? It's my favorite month. October, man. It's when everything dies. That's it. I'm out of here. I don't care what's going through your brain. You do whatever you want. Deal with that on your own. I ain't any part of it. Yeah, you tell Dad maybe I'll come home tonight, maybe I won't. You sure it's okay? I mean, it's like 3.30 in the morning. My mom knows if I bring somebody home, they're cool. Look, I'm, uh, I'm gonna study for a while. This is for you. This isn't gonna bother you, is it? Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. So I see you're in a lot of the advanced placement courses, huh? Yeah, well, you take enough of them, they let you into college straight as a sophomore, and uh, that'd save my mom a lot of money. Yeah. So you plan on going? Yeah. Don't you? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Of course. Let me ask you another question. Why are you in the KKK? I mean, uh, why do you stick around? be a very long conversation. If we ever had it. Send somebody, you get yourself arrested, but you do not leave me sitting here wondering whether or not you are alive. 
Penhall said he stuck with you for as long as possible, and then he came back in here and reported in, which is what you are supposed to do. Yes, sir. Don't ever separate from your partner and not call in. I want to know whether or not you're dead or alive. Otherwise, I don't sleep well at night. I don't sleep well. I come in in a bad mood. Yes, sir. Tell me where you were. <clears throat> well, uh, Brian Gans, one of the gang kids, he's sort of the second in command under this Lancer character. He invited me home. And it's funny, though, this, this Brian kid, he could be me. These are kids just trying to leave some kind of a mark. They're not hardened criminals by any means. So what are you telling me? I'm telling you, I think we need to bust the guy who's running them. This Lancer guy? Yeah. He's the lead singer in that band they worship. OK, OK, but we got to be careful not to turn this guy into a martyr. Yeah, I know it. I got to tell you, Captain Fuller, I don't, I don't understand his gig. What does he want with a bunch of high school kids? Yeah, you said it yourself. They worship this band. Sounds to me like Lancer wants to be God. It's a very appealing position to be in when you think of it. Yeah. All right, listen, you go get yourself some rest and catch up with him at the end of the day. And Hanson, you're doing good work here. Just keep trying to get close to this kid. Thanks, Captain. Put a little two hand touch. What are you kidding, man? Come on, I just feel like it. Lance is gonna be waiting for us. What are you guys afraid to play a little football here? Yo, over here. Spooky, go on. This is a stupid idea, man. I'll go Scrap that. What about Lance? Come on. Girls, come on, you're playing, you're on our team. Is that your girlfriend? Hey, Doug, come on. Let's play some football. Okay, everybody go long right, like they're blocking for Steve. Tober, you go out five yards, straight out. Turn around, I'll hit you. Let's hurt him. Vicious left. Crunch, right? The strong, burrito, hut, hut. See, I told you. There's Lancer, man. Up. Just uh, playing a little football. Are we having fun? Hey, we were gonna be over. We just, you know, lost track of the time. I mean, we're there every day, you know. I just figured this one. What do you think you're doing, Brian? Huh? What, are you trying to prove a little point here? <laughs> you don't think I could get them to turn on you in about a minute? I've known these guys since grade three. They were my friends before they knew you. Right now, if, uh, if I hit you, you think they'd run over here and help? Mm -hmm. Or you think they'd all join in and we'd stomp you right here in front of your little friends? You're wrong. If I told them that you weren't worth hanging out with anymore, they'd stop. Things would go back to the way they were before. Crosswalk, where it's a... Oh, it's Jane What the heck are they doing here? Now, that's littering. 
obstructing an officer, and that's gonna cost you 60 bucks. Well, how much was the jaywalk? 35. Oh, great. Well, listen, man, if you guys could add that up, uh, why don't you send me a bill? <laughs> all right, Lancer! <laughs> you can all go in on a disorderly. You like that? Don't you got anything better to do? I'm gonna give you another ticket. Certainly might have been an accident, but laws are laws. You know, that makes sense because, uh, certainly couldn't be that you guys are a couple of tood cases. <laughs> what are you doing? Get up. Hey, sooner or later, you guys are gonna whack me a couple of times, and you're gonna throw me down in the middle of the street, felony prone. I know the drill. Get out of the street. Well, you're right. Yeah, so you can arrest me for attacking an officer, hmm? And it, I mean, you're gonna shoot me, man. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay down here where it's nice and safe. Stink. Hey, I'll see you guys tomorrow, huh? Cops are all defectives. All three of them are defectives. Go do something. Let's go out and do some damage now. Curfew's in 15 minutes. So what? I'm just saying. Just saying. You don't want to do anything about this, do you? I'm just I saying. thought we had to teach the cops a lesson for busting Lancer. Yeah. So I called him. And I told him that there was a robbery down at the Baywood Market. In about two minutes, guess who's going to come rolling by back on his bike? And guess what's gonna be stretched across the road, hitting him chest high at 35 miles an hour? Yeah? You can cut off his head. Yeah? Well, cool. This is it. We gotta bust him before they slice and dice his cop. You think that's tough, man? Ah! Ah! Hey, no, he's fine. You're a tough guy. Man. You're a tough guy. Ah! I'm trying you on anyway, man. Huh? No, he's gone. Okay, okay, easy. Man, we gotta call Fuller. Looks like there's gonna be trouble. Hanson, where are you? Fuller's out trying to find you guys. You gotta get those kids off the streets. But what do you mean they won't go home? Fallhouse is moving in, man. He's bringing in the gas and the dogs, and he said any kid breaking curfew is fair game. You better move fast. I'd say you got about five minutes. <laughs> Got 16 of us. Yeah, some anarchists. Half these kids posted bail with their credit cards. Now, well, here's some pics and prints of your boy Lancer and a real name to go with it. Charles Nathan King? Yo, he's on parole. We got him for an ADW on Hanson. That ought to be enough to violate him. About this Lancer guy. I know, I read it. Uh, look, look, the uniforms overreacted last night. They moved in too fast. <laughs> You're telling us. Yeah, Ballhouse is going for blood on this. They want to cut us out of the program. Handle it in the typical fashion. Translation, bust more heads. If we don't make an arrest soon, it's gonna be over. Great, wait here, I'll bust Lancer myself. 
You still think that's the way to go? No. Are you crazy? He tried to stab you. Hanson, you are no longer on this man's Christmas card list. Look, I think if we can turn this kid Brian around, we can get the other ones to follow. Good instinct. I think you're right. Just remember, this Lancer didn't have much to begin with, and now he's going to lose being God. So violence, random destruction, another confrontation with the police. He's going to do whatever it takes to hold on to him. So watch your backs. Can you get a play tonight or what, man? And what else do we have to do? No, man. I don't think so. I mean, what's the point? Why should I go up on stage and sing about anarchy, huh? No, I think it's about time the cops got taught a thing or two, man. I mean, unless you guys would rather sit around and listen to somebody sing. Is that what you want to do? I mean, it's like... Sometimes when the system breaks down, there's no use in trying to fix it. It's like it's better to tear the whole thing down. Start all over again, you know what I mean? Whole thing. Wouldn't you agree, Tom? Like real anarchy. Like we do anything we want. To anyone we want. You guys are serious? Oh, what? Don't you think it's a good idea, Brian? I was just checking. You darn right, I'm serious. Okay, you're serious. Are well, you coming with us? Are you gonna be able to keep up with me? hundred and fifty thousand dollars in damage in one night. Mailboxes, lawns torn to shreds, spray paint from one end of the neighborhood to the other. The whole gang is implicated, sir. But it's still just vandalism, Captain Fuller. It stopped being vandalism at 1 a.m. this morning down at Mercy. The kid the KKK has pulled out of that truck the other day is dead. A blood clot from the break in his arm went up to his brain. It was just like a stroke kid was a ninth grader at Walter Reed. And whoever was in the KKK car was participating in second-degree manslaughter. Look, guys, the chief of police is getting all sorts of pressure from the mayor. Now, we have got to get some people in on this. We got to get a body count here. Captain, trust me on this. I think I can turn these guys and prevent a bloodbath. What I got to do is get Brian to expose Lancer to these other guys, show him what a fraud he really is, and then if I can do that, believe me, the other guys will take a walk and all these troubles will disappear. Yeah, but what about Brian? I don't know. I think he's almost there. At least I hope he is. Get on it. It's all gone too far. It's gotten to the unnecessary stage. Yep. It's like there's no point. So what, we got arrested. Lancer went to jail, big deal. So now we're gonna go out and make it worse. It just used to be fun. Picked up on it right away. The, the, the rest of them, they, they can't see it. They've been in it too long. So why don't you quit? And what, go back to being a jock? Join the student council, for God's sakes? Why not? Why not? It's like a train. It, it, it won't slow down, you can't get off.
don't have to go. How about that? Man! Sure that mic's on. Fuller wants everything on tape. Yeah. What? You like that, huh? I wonder where that came from. You see, Darby and Tarver and I took a little walk, and we decided, what if we threw these things at something a little more useful, like a black and white, or better yet? The police station. I mean, why not? They're gonna come after us anyhow. Why don't we just go there? That's right. I mean, we can't just sit around and wait, man. This is a war. This is the real thing. There is no other choice. Now, we ain't gonna shoot no one. But I think it's about time we put a serious scare into him. Maybe then they'll back off for a while. That's garbage! You're out of your freaking mind! Oh, great. <laughs> think one and think two speak again. What do you want to do? You want to go fire guns near cops just to scare them? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Well, who the heck asked you anyway, period? Maybe we ought to just lob a few of these things at you, huh? It is stupid. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. This whole dang thing is stupid. What's the matter now, Bry? Why don't you let him talk? Nobody wants to die over this. So we spend a couple hours in jail. So what? It's principle, man. In two years, this isn't going to matter. And don't give me who knows if we're going to be alive in two years. Because I'm going to be. And this ain't going to matter. And you're not going to matter. Well, maybe you won't be alive in another two minutes, guy. Jimmy, you ready to die for this? Are you ready? You want to burn down the cop station? Maybe. Steve, you play crazy, but you ain't that stupid. You want to go to jail? Tobin, man, you got enough that doesn't work. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Okay. Fine. You guys want to be a bunch of wussies? Stay here. No problem. We can do this without this. What do you say, huh? Lance, man, I, I don't know. Not tonight. Take these back too. Thanks. I mean, you know. I comes back. He's not gonna come back. <laughs> Is Lance going to jail? Yeah. Good. Good gold down riddance. Send him home. Yo, listen up. Yo, yeah, Ryan. Yeah. We're going home. It's my fault, 
Starko died. Come on, man. It's not your fault, okay? I was driving the car. Oh, man. I know this means I have to rest you, right? I know. I'm sorry.